What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Got a little review tonight on the Wismic Majet and on the Dots Strawberry Cheesecake. And I believe this is by Ruthless. Let me double check it. Yes, manufactured by Ruthless. Okay, it's going to be a short review, but we'll get her knocked out. First off, here's the MyJet. Here's the packaging. This is a Sigalot type of device. More for beginners or somebody who just wants something that uh, small and just don't make a huge vape. Oh, it comes apart like that. Here is your charger cord, USB plug-in, and there's where you plug it into the battery. Comes with a warranty card, <clears throat> a little instruction pamphlet. <clears throat> One little thing I am going to talk about is right here, this pretty cool little thing, uh, it tells you like... If the battery stays on, then if it stays lit, your battery level is 3.8 volts to 4.2. If it slowly flashes, it's 3.65 volts to 3.8 volts. Um, if it just moderately flashes, it's 3.45 volts to 3.65. And if it flashes infrequency, uh, or infrequently uh, 3 volts to 3.45 so and it's got short circuit protection it has low voltage protection and resistance uh, detection which I don't understand that l low voltage protection well not Never mind. I thought that was something else. I thought that said ohms for a second. It's like my brain ain't working too good right now. Anyways. Let's get all this out of here and get this out of the way. Okay, here's the little thing. Here's the back of it. got your battery and your pod and your battery LED which we'll show at now okay here is the MyJet here's when I was talking about pods this is the pod that's basically your tank Here's the mouthpiece, or mouth hole. It comes with two coils. Let me take these little gaskets off so you can see the actual coil. Come on, focus. Uh, focus. Anyways, you can see the coils somewhat. And you can clean those coils and replace the cotton. You just take these gaskets off, pull your cotton out, take like a lighter, and uh, well, you pull this metal piece off and heat your coil up with a lighter, get it glowing, and put some new cotton in it. Boom. Put your gaskets and stuff back on and you're back to vaping. So gasket back on here. Okay. Now comes with two tanks. In case you want to run two juices and one battery. This has no button. It's strictly when you pull on it, that's when it vapes. So I guess these coils are the exact same. 
owns. I'm not for sure. They both look the same, so I guess they are. Okay. Now, the juice we're going to be reviewing is the Dots Strawberry Cheesecake. Comes in a 30 mil. Here's the rest of the box. Ruthless has always got some killer, killer packaging. I love their packaging. And got an even cooler label. Made by Ruthless. And uh, ingredients, PG, VG, and flavoring and nicotine. That don't say nothing about no sweetener or anything in it. So let's look on the box, see if it says anything. No, it's just got the normal warnings. Okay. Okay, we're going to prime this cool just like you would any other cool. We're going to put just anywhere where we see cotton. Just going to put some drops on it. And put just a few down the center of this cool head and touch them two little pieces of cotton. Like I said, put just a few drops down the center here. Two... And three. You can tell everything looks soaked pretty good. Alright. Juice smells really good. you're filling these uh, little pods you'll see the little I don't know there you go you can kind of see it that little chimney right there on the inside see right there you don't want to fill it up over it or you'll have a mouthful of juice all right take your cool head just push it in there like so Make sure everything's snug and we flip it over. I thought I had some paper towels in here, but I guess not. I'm gonna wipe it on my pants. Okay. Now we're gonna set this upright. I'm gonna try to. got these little silicone things in the very bottom of these coils but it don't say nothing about taking them out but to me I feel like that's how it makes its connection I don't know I'll find out here in a minute I don't know maybe it'll stay in it I'll leave it in there if it don't make a connection well, no, you got to take it out. But I don't want to stand up like it should, so we'll set it over here. Put 
I want to sell the way. I do have some fresh cotton in this rough neck. So while that's priming, we'll juice this up and try her out. Yeah, I'm not going to set a few Clapton's in this rig and roughneck uh, combo. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good cheesecake. It does kind of have that Dippin' Dots taste to it. Um, the strawberry is really good. It's a little different from the strawberry I think I've had in a lot of other juices. Uh, and the cheesecake's not real strong tasting. There's some cheesecakes out there that it's just too strong and it just don't taste right, but that's actually pretty good. And uh, this nicotine, it's a three milligram, and nicotine's pretty smooth for, you know, nicotine. <laughs> some people's nicotine's harsher than others, so that's why I say it's fairly smooth. It ain't got that strong throat hit like some of it does. Good juice. Alright. Back to the mod jet. Put in here like so. And get it to go in here. When you pull on it, this light should come on. I guess you do got to pull that little plug out. There's a plug in the bottom of this. Pull it out. That makes it go together a lot easier too. Yep, there we go. Actually, a pretty, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not no big drag. But, you know, if you're somewhere where you can't blow no big cloud or something, um, this would be perfect. Not bad. Not bad at all. For what that is uh, I can see myself using some high nicotine and uh, just kind of keeping this thing on me and be out somewhere where you're just really craving some uh, a vape and just can't really chuck no clouds or something you know might be at a social event or something like that and you know they might not be too vape friendly so something like this would be a good little alternative or somebody who's fresh to vaping this would be perfect <laughs> I 
and I'm getting really good flavor out of this, like, to be what it is, like, of course I'm not getting flavor like I would out of a dripper, but, um, or RDA, but for what it is, I can't complain, it beats the crap out of any E-Pen I've ever used. It's it's new. I, I'm I'm finding a new liking for little mini stuff, and uh, I think it's because when I first started vaping, e pens was out, and that was the big thing. <clears throat> and I remember that you know the coils, for the most part, didn't look too much different from what's inside of this. It wasn't really any bigger or any smaller. Um, but you didn't get no kind of flavor or anything compared to even like this. Uh, you might get a little close to the same amount of vapor production, but it was leaking, it might work, it might not. Uh, depending on what kind of juice you put in it, it might crack your tank. And, you know, just all kinds of other stupid crap you went, problems you had with E-Pens. But, uh, yeah, this little guy is pretty cool. And it's cool they give you two, uh, two pods. Not bad, not bad. Before I end this review, my last review was on this Peds E-Juice, and I think it was my last one, or the one right before that, I can't remember. And I did one on this uh, Wismec Motive, same company that makes the MyJet. But, here's, well, some size comparison. Two great starter mod, or setups. One produces more vape, holds a little more juice. One's smaller, you know, a lot less vapor. A lot more airflow, but you can't adjust it. Practically no airflow. But. This is more for the beginner, and this is more for the intermediate, or somebody who just wants a bigger vape. But the whole point that I got in about this is the more I vape this, the more I love it. And another little recipe you could do is mix the two of these together, and it tastes like a Pebbles cereal bar. It's so good. I've vaped the crap out of that since I've done that review. That's all that's left. And I've been babying this. So I've got to tell you how much I've vaped of it. Another little follow up on the Baby Beast tank. I'm still rocking that same cool that I had in it whenever I've done the review. And I'm loving this little tank. I've got away from tanks, but here the past couple weeks, all this little mini stuff, and it's got either got a built-in tank or you got a little mini tank like this or something. It's just good flavor and small stuff that's good for on the go. And I guess one reason why I've been more into small stuff here lately. So I've been on the go a lot here lately, so it's just been more convenient for me. Um, a lot of people probably ain't going to use some, I mean, I'm not going to say a lot of people ain't going to use Baby Beast. A lot of people probably will. But something like this, I mean, a lot of people actually, like, once they try it, they really like this little guy. But, you know, 
for a lot of people, they might not like it. This, it's, I don't know. I feel like everybody really needs something about like this. Just when you're around people that you know that a big vapor, you know, something that produces a big vapor, you know, it, to them it disrespects them or whatever. Something like this is good when you're out in public and you're around a big crowd of people. But, I'm just going to about wrap this review up. Uh, my jet. Two thumbs up. Pretty cool little device. Not a cloud trucker by no means, but small, compact. And no button. Just pretty cool little technology. everybody have a good night peace out and let's take another vape before we're out cheers peace out